Hello and welcome to Good Life, the health show with me, Pooja. Well, this is a show that focuses on providing you with solutions to your health-related issues, a lifestyle and much more. Well, viewers, homeopathy is a treatment based on the use of highly diluted substances, uh, which practitioners claim can cause the body to heal itself. So, today we are being joined by Dr. Manideep De, General Physician Homeopathic, to clear your queries regarding homeopathy and its benefits and does homeopathy help in healing seasonal diseases. Alright, not to waste any more time, I'll straight away move to Dr. Manideep De, who is uh, at this point in time connected to us. Alright, thank you so much, Doctor, for joining to Good Life, the health show at this point in time. And uh, today we are going to talk on the topic uh, that is cough and coal and being treated by homeopathy. Now, at first, if our viewers would like to know that how homeopathy is benefited and how effective is homeopathic treatment, what do you want to say at this point in time? Yeah, first of all, uh, good afternoon, viewers. Thanks, uh, Northeast Life, uh, for inviting uh, me to your esteemed program. So, uh, being a, a practitioner of homeopathy, first of all, uh, I uh, intend to say that homeopathy is a, a system. It's got similar, 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 and enhances the vital uh, force of our body okay. so that it combats the uh, disease by its own and the disease is gradually eradicated. All right. Now, Dr. Uh, homeopathy, everybody uh, is uh, at this juncture. Maybe they might have a lot of questions. And for that, our numbers are flashed on your television screens, viewers. So if you have any queries uh, regarding the topic which we have taken and we are talking on a homeopathy as well as uh, how to treat a uh, cough and cold, all the seasonal uh, diseases through homeopathy. So uh, please call up as the numbers are flashed on your television screens and call up and ask your question. All right, now, Doctor, coming back to you again, we had a little bit of idea about homeopathy. Now, if we talk about that, uh, how do we know that yeah. homeopathy is working? Suppose if we are taking a homeopathic treatment for any kind of disease. So how do we know that it is working? Does it take time? What is the time span? No, on the contrary, homeopathy for acts very fast. Okay. If uh, properly uh, case uh, history being taken, uh, patient has, uh, is uh, elicited properly and uh, proper dose of medication is given, it acts as a miracle. All right. Here, uh, exact, uh, this called uh, uh, selection of medicine is very uh, mandatory over here. Okay, the selection of medicine is important, isn't it? And it works very fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All selection right. of medicine and the uh, potency, the dilution of uh, power of the medicine. Okay. All right, doctor, now talking about the seasonal flus and seasonal diseases. Now, a drastically fluctuation of temperature could be seen in everybody's uh, body. And uh, if we talk about cough and cold, that has become a very yeah. common thing. In uh, We can see, like, uh, now we hear, like, uh, mm -hmm. if we're talking about a children or an adult, we see cough and cold is very common. Now, if we talk about homeopathy, does homeopathy treat yeah. cough and cold? Yeah. What is the process? What would you like to tell our viewers? Basically, uh, the uh, season is first changing, no? Absolutely. Daytime, uh, diurnal variation of temperature is there. Hmm. So, uh, so, abrupt heat and we have been exposed uh, to various sort of uh, infections. Might be bacterial, fungal, uh, protozoal, hmm. uh, viral infection. So, basically, uh, these, they tend to invade the uh, lungs uh, in case, say, for example, if we take viral infection. Okay. If it invades throat, then it's viral throat, throat. If it invades viral sinuses, then viral sinusitis, then stomach viral diarrhea. Hmm. Then if it invades liver, viral hepatitis. So, uh, the places where they invade, they basically create some sort of illness. Illness, that's what. All right. So, uh, this is important, like... a. Uh of course, uh, the patient or whoever comes to you, they must be having a lot of queries uh, regarding uh, homeopathy. Will it work or not? So yeah. how do you give them an example or how do you give them an assurance that uh, it will work and what is the procedure? Yeah, first of all, we uh, take the history of the patient. Absolutely. Medicines are selected and the uh, potency of the uh, medicines being selected. Then after... 
uh, we uh, uh, certain protocols we tell the patient to maintain general protocols such as exposure to cold mm -hmm. if a uh, patient is infested with sore throat and all mm -hmm. viral sore throat bacterial sore throat then uh, uh, minimize uh, taking uh, processed food uh, frozen things uh, then carbonated drinks and all mm -hmm. along with that uh, we give medicine uh, it works like magic all right, so it works like magic. All right, doctor, we have a caller at this point in time. Let's take the call and then yeah, we will proceed with the conversation. Uh, hello? Hello? I'm going to ask you a question. Hello, I'm going to ask you a question. Ah, I'm going to ask you a question. 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 Hello? Uh, doctor, if you have heard the question, you can reply to him. Hello? No, no, no it's not audible to me. Okay, can okay. Can you explain it? Uh, Hello? Hello? Uh, Hello? Hello, doctor, if you could hear the question, Hello. did you hear? Uh, he, no, no, he might be telling he is having cough cold, fever yes, like that, yes. isn't it? Right, Not right. Clear. Hmm. So, uh, yeah. will it be cured uh, by the please medicine? Ask her, uh, uh, sir, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sir, Abna boy came in. All right, uh, uh, there is a disconnection of the phone. Uh, so, if a remedy could be given to this person, uh, what would be that, doctor? Yeah, uh, uh, some sort of uh, infection might, might have crept up. So, basically, uh, uh, this. Uh, uh, warm cell and gargling, uh, refrain from uh, using uh, this called synthetic things and all, frozen things, uh, cow's milk, this will further aggravate the uh, scenario. Okay. And the medicine, uh, there are too many medicines during these seasons, say Dalgamara one, uh, Dalgamara Netram Surf, this called uh, uh, Sebadilla, Pulsatilla, a lot of medicines are there, hmm. but these all has to be uh, taken under medical supervision only. Uh, there has to be ascertained and then after exact medicine has to be given. Absolutely. Thank you so much for calling. But uh, the things will be clear because uh, a proper diagnosis has to be done okay. and proper medicines is being done after uh, uh, yeah, a yeah, go yeah. ahead is being given by a doctor. So it's always better to come and see and then yeah. things will be more clear, isn't it, doctor? Uh, yeah, uh, better. All right. Well, doctor, we were talking about cough and cold and we are talking better. about different yeah, age yeah. group. Now, if uh, we talk about uh, your practice, now a different age group people come to you for different uh, diseases. Yeah. Now, if we talk about the common disease which we are talking today is cough and cold. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, what is the trend now? Uh, are people more yeah. or less visiting you at this point in time? Yeah. Uh, uh, as per... Uh, uh, ch children uh, and uh, small ch uh, kids, they, uh, uh, their infection is a uh, little bit severe because their uh, immune system is low key and they are not being able to withstand the thing properly. Okay. Hmm. So uh, they have to be very carefully uh, dealt with okay. and uh, uh, properly uh, things have to be evaluated and hmm. medicine has to be given. They become tend to become very uh, serious because chest infection and their uh, immunity is a uh, little bit on the lower side. So they become uh, a little bit serious uh, soon. So all pros prospective has to be taken care of. After that, proper selection of medicine uh, with case history, and after, uh, then we give medicine for the patient. Plus all the pre uh, precautionary measure has to be maintained. That's all right. What. So all precautionary measures has to be taken and all perspective, assessment of the perspective has to be taken while giving medicines and to be followed strictly, isn't it? Now, doctor, we'll talk yes, more on the topic. We'll have more conversation and we yeah, hope that we will get a good number of calls as well. But right now, viewers, we'll have to slip into a short break. But do come back soon because we have lots more on the other side.
Welcome back and uh, you're watching Good Life, the health show with me, Pooja. And we are having a fruitful discussion on homeopathy and Dr. Manideep Day is with us. Lord, doctor, we already had an idea about cough and cold and how the all perspective has to be taken care of and then medicines is being provided. Now, if we talk about the other common disease, that is the gastritis. Now, gastritis has also been uh, seen, uh, commonly seen in uh, everybody. Now, during the lifestyle, the lifestyle the people yeah. are leading at this juncture is uh, something that all also affects people and that leads to gastritis. Now, if we talk about the treatment through homeopathy, what is yeah. the procedure? What would you like to say? Yeah, it is one of the most, uh, the nowadays uh, problem uh, causing thing. We are uh, encountering this problem uh, too many uh, times a day. Uh, here, I have to say that uh, this erratic uh, food habits uh, too much intake of junk foods, lack of exercises, hmm. sedentary lifestyle, uh, walking from home, this sort of thing, uh, too much work pressure uh, ultimately leading this sort of problem. Okay. Uh, here, lifestyle modification, hmm. exercise uh, will help along with medicine. All right. So along with medicines, and we have also seen uh, there are on uh, off-the-counter medicines also being taken by people, and that also leads to gastritis. Lifestyle is one of the issue. But if we talk about the medicine, suppose if uh, some people has a prone uh, habit of taking painkillers, that also leads to gastritis. If already the person is suffering a form gastritis. Now on that note, if some person comes to you uh, for a help, how homeopathy will help those patients? Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Uh, first and foremost thing, we have to assure the patient, give assurance to the patient to um, uh, change his lifestyle, uh, uh, less intake of junk foods, exercise regularly, yoga, then uh, uh, walk. Uh, this uh, uh, small frequent meals, uh, uh, we basically, what happens, we take uh, meals at long interval and whatever mm. we take, we uh, eat voraciously. The, this basically cause problem. So first and foremost thing, we have to assure the patient to change the lifestyle, what they are leading, okay. then uh, uh, morning work and all. Along with that, hmm. uh, a good number of medicines are there homeopathically. Uh, few, few medicines I can name also. All right. Uh, All right, Doctor, home, we'll come uh, to that say, medicines. Uh, in lower potencies, 30. Yeah. Okay. Doctor, we will uh, come to yeah. know about those medicines, yeah. but right now we have a caller. We'll take the call and then we will talk about that. All right. Uh, thank, uh, hello. Hello. Oh, yeah. uh, hi. My name is Gwajipari. problem of the I am going to ask you. 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 I am going to ask Sir, is the Iman Bisi problem? Hussein, it problem. Hello? Doctor, it's not audible. I can't hear. It's not audible. not audible. It's 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 Whenever she gets up in the morning, she's not able to get up because of heavy gastritis. So she's asking for the remedy. And uh, probably you can reply her to her comfortable language, Assamese. Yeah. Uh, the thing is that, uh, can I talk in Assamese? Yeah, yeah, sure. Please. Please go ahead. Hello. Actually, uh, actually, uh, lifestyle or modify Sabo Lagibo, Saikini, Tekedor Ki, Kenoga, Mana Constitution, Kenoga, Tekedor Lifestyle, Letum, details me among all of my cases to look in Janibo Lagibo. Our individualized Kuribo Lagibo, the Kedok, Kurikini, Tekedogata, medicine, Mana totality of symptoms, Saikini, Divo Lagibo, the Kedok, Tete Palbo, Aro Ethel for the time being, Tekede, Amar in general. Uh, gastric or medicine to medicine, apna thora nax bomb thirty, ba carbo base thirty, lycopodium thirty. Ebe lag jiko na yata mane khawa pare. Aru theke do proper treatment hobe ajan mane qualified homeopathic doctor tad goi treatment goi le bhalo hobe theke. 
All right, so proper medication is very important, but it's always better to uh, see a doctor and then uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, get yeah. prescribed medicines and then yeah, take definitely. those, then start the treatment. Our, uh, yeah, ma'am. Our, our, yeah, our is a different uh, sort of medication. Okay. Uh, total, we uh, basically uh, select the medicine on the individuality of the patient. That's Absolutely. Right. And doctor, there is also a procedure, there is also a timetable uh, to take those medicines mm -hmm. if, uh, if we are talking about homeopathy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, okay. our medicine, uh, they are very uh, of low intensity, low power and mm -hmm. uh, these medicines has to be taken in material doses. Okay. Uh, because if the patient is serious, our mm -hmm. only tool is material doses. We uh, give the medicines at frequent intervals. But when the patient becomes uh, on the uh, come on the recovery path, hmm. then the medicine doses are enhanced. They are at, given at uh, long intervals. That's what. All right. So now, initially, doctor, little frequent dosing has to be done. All right, doctor. Earlier to this uh, caller, we were uh, talking about the medicines. You were uh, talking about the medicines which will be uh, prescribed for the gastritis patient. So, uh, what are yeah, those? Gastrite is basically uh, 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 few medicines are there. Uh, okay. Uh, directly we can give uh, medicine uh, like this, uh, but few medicines I can suggest that uh, like uh, Nax bomb, uh, China, Lycopodium, hmm. Antim crude, Pulsatilla, Robinia. Hmm. This sort of medicines, if taken in lower uh, dilutions, they act uh, very nice. Okay. But uh, all has to be taken under pro strict medical supervision. Strict medical supervision, isn't it? All right, doctor, if we talk about the precautions that has yeah, to be taken while taking a homeopathic medicine, so what are those the precautions that one patient has to take care of? A precaution basically, in a, a, not only in homeopathy, in every medical science, hmm. certain uh, exciting factors, the maintaining factors okay. has to be eradicated. Say hmm. a diabetic patient, he is not supposed to take sweet. If he mm. takes sweet, his never will, his sugar will never be down. In mm. the same process, spicy fried foods, mm. junk foods, carbonated drinks, uh, these sort of thing uh, basically interfere with all sort of medical sciences. So if these things are uh, been eradicated, uh, half the treatment being done there. All right. Now, uh, doctor, is there any food item that has to be exempted uh, while uh, taking homeopathic medicines? There is a myth or there is a uh, discussion which goes yeah. on while uh, taking a homeopathic medicine. Certain foods has to be exempted yeah. or has to be avoided. So, what do you have to say on that? Uh, so, yeah, yeah. Basically, uh, homeopathy, uh, uh, majority of the medicines come from plain uh, kingdom. So as such, uh, uh, certain uh, medicines, they interfere or antidote with the course of our medication. So aromatic substances, uh, smoking, alcoholism, at point of time, if been uh, uh, limited, then definitely medicine works very nice. And is there have, uh, one has to pro follow a proper diet as well, or proper exercises as well. What do you give suggestions when any patient comes and visits you? Yeah, man. Uh, uh, exercise, uh, regular exercise, uh, this modification, modify your lifestyle, hmm. uh, uh, take uh, uh, walk uh, at least 45 minutes to one hour daily, uh, plenty of fluid oral. If you uh, uh, rehydrate your body, uh, then automatically many of your complaints uh, would be eased off. In gastritis also, GI tract is like a drain. The more the water you drink, the more the debris being washed off and uh, uh, bowel regulation would be better. Uh, if bowel regulation is better, the reflux problem would be eased off then. All right. Now, doctor, there is a text message from a, a viewer at this point in time and uh, has been asking that uh, if that person is taking yeah. allopathic medicines, can he or she take a homeopathic uh, together with allopathic? What do you have to say? Yeah, yeah. Certain medicines uh, definitely can be taken with uh, our medicine, uh, and uh, to maintaining a ga healthy gap with the, those medicines, you can take homeopathy. All right. So, uh, is there anything uh, to be uh, taken care of? A certain precautions to be taken care of uh, while a person is already taking a allopathy, and suddenly he or she has uh, shifted to homeopathy. Nothing as such. Uh, the, the protocol is almost same in all the systems of our medicine. 
So almost same medicine. At least if he is on say uh, uh, diabetic medication, uh, hypertensive medication, and uh, thyroid medication, uh, uh, they can continue with those medicine along with our medication. Hmm. But uh, a healthy gap has to be maintained between, in between those. Things. And do you also suggest uh, vitamins to be taken can along? Those medicine also. Okay. Or right, doctor, do you also suggest uh, vitamins yeah, to be uh, taken yes. along with homeopathy yeah. medicines? Yeah. Yeah, uh, vitamins are uh, all systems medicine. No? If a, a patient is lacking in vitamin D, calcium, vitamin B12, they have to be supplemented. Hmm. Otherwise, uh, so, uh, deficiency symptoms will come up. No? Absolutely. All right, so one has to be uh, taken proper care of uh, things. And if any uh, uh, confusion regarding how to take and how to opt for homeopathy medicines for each, all the, each of the diseases, so it's always the best person, that is doctors, to go and take a help from them and uh, get those necessary prescriptions and those necessary precautionary measures and yeah. then start the treatment. All right, doctor, we are really short of time. What would you like to tell our viewers who are watching our show at this point in time? I would uh, suggest all the viewers of Northeast Life uh, to have a healthy lifestyle, take uh, uh, food in befitting way, uh, exercise regularly, refrain from taking junk and uh, the st uh, this spicy fried foods, do exercises and uh, uh, that's, that's what I intend to say to the patient. All right. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Doctor, for joining today uh, to our show, Good Life, the Health Show, and uh, giving thank those uh, so valuable uh, suggestions. You. And I'm sure the viewers who have watched our show must be benefited. And I'm sure there must be a lot of confusions regarding homeopathy in your mind. But uh, I'm sure after this uh, show, uh, there will be a little clearance about homeopathy and how to take a medicine on homeopathy. And if any queries is there, uh, then you can always uh, consult a homeopathic physician and then it, things will be more clear and then treatment could be started at the earliest. All right, viewers, with this, we have come to the end of the show and we hope that we were able to answer all your queries in the best possible way. And in our next episode, we will be discussing on some other important health issues. So if you have any queries, do join us next Saturday at 3.30 p.m. live. Till then, stay healthy, stay fit and keep watching Northeast Live. Goodbye.